Now all the great masters such as Buddha, Jesus, Muhammad focused on the spiritual qualities of the heart, the compassion, the love. These are emotions that we want to live more of, we want to embody them. This exercise will help you access those qualities of your heart. To make it simple, we're going to imagine a circuit, a circuit of light. If you like visualizing color, imagine red light flowing from your heart up to your neck, follow the anatomy, the nerves down your arms and back to your heart. So can you close your eyes and visualize this light? Breathe in as it goes up and breathe out as it goes down your arms and back to your heart. It's like recharging your own battery. All that energy in your heart in each beat enough to light a small light bulb. You want to have access to that. The first heart emotion is unconditional love. This is the kind of love you have for a child or perhaps your puppy or your kitten. It's a love that does not require any return. Whatever that person does to annoy you or hurt you, you're still going to love them. So can you tap into that memory you have, that feeling perhaps with your child when your baby was born of unconditional love? Let's just imagine it for a second and then imagine the breath and the red light of the heart if you want to imagine colour circulating it, circulating it round your body. Can we imagine it being circulated through our arms and back to our heart, this unconditional love, be in the love. bask in the warmth. Your hands begin to feel slightly warm as you do this. And we're going to move on to the second emotion which is peace. This is that incredibly peaceful quality you feel at the top of a mountain or perhaps in a garden. Remember the last time you felt this peaceful. You could be in your own island of peace and there's a war, a battle, a chaos going around you but you don't even notice it because you're totally grounded in your island of peace. For a second just imagine this peace and then breathe it. Breathe it up and down your arms and back to your heart. You have a little circuit of peace going. And the next one is compassion. Compassion for those in areas of natural disasters, hurricanes, earthquakes, lost their homes, lost their families, lost everything. Compassion means being with in pain because we know that very easily we could be in the situation that those people are in. So tune into your feelings regarding compassion. And the last heart emotion is forgiveness. Forgiveness of those who have hurt or upset us. We're letting go because in reality holding on to those stressful emotions just hurts us. It doesn't hurt anyone else. It damages us. So forgiveness is really important for us. Circulate the forgiveness. And now go back to unconditional love. And circulate the unconditional love back to your heart. Recharge your battery. And move on to peace. Then compassion. and forgiveness. You do this for five minutes a day, you'll be working on the electromagnetic light network of your own heart, making it feel better and more healthy.